Hello, my dear. I'm Dr. Alam Musbah, professor of obstetrics in the gynecology faculty of Medicine of Mansoura University. Let us try to answer some ASCII in obstetrics. After you examine two ladies, you will be asked a problem. What are the different methods that can help to estimate gestational age and predict the expected date delivery? This is for the first case. For the second case, you will be asked how to assess the well being of the fetus in late pregnancy. Okay. So, let us try with the first one. What are the different methods that can help to estimate gestational age and predict the expected date delivery? First, using Nagel's formula. What is Nagel's formula? We add nine calendar month and seven days to the first day of last menstrual period. Date of fruitful coitus. If this date can be remembered by the lady, we'll add 266 days to this date. Okay? If the patient can remember this single coitus which leads to this pregnancy, so we can add 266 days days to this day. What else? Review of previous antenatal record. You will see the follow-up and the antenatal record will help you in the exact thing with the, the gestational age and the expected date. Also, for example, if you have a report of positive pregnancy test at first missed period, this will be very helpful. What else? Date of quickening. We know that quickening, which is the first perception of the fetal movement, occurs earlier in multipara than in primary gravity. Okay, so we add 22 weeks in primary gravity and the 24 weeks in multivara to this date of quickening, if the patient can remember it. What else? Measurement of synthesis fundal height by using measuring tap after detection of the top of the fundal level. We can measure the distance from symphysis pubis up to the top of the fundus. This is called symphysis fundal height. It is in centimeter equal to that of weeks. So if it is, for example, 32 centimeters, this means this lady is pregnant 32 weeks. Plus or minus 2 centimeters. Should be considered. Okay? What else for detection of gestational age and expected date delivery? Use of ultrasonography. During first trimester, we can depend on mean sac diameter or crown rump lens. During second and third trimester, we can depend on the measurement of fibrital diameter, femur lens, head circumference, and abdominal circumference. This is how we estimate gestational age and we redact expected date delivery. I hope this clear enough. Okay, another case, after evaluation of this case, you would be asked about assessment of the well-being of the fetus in late pregnancy. How to do assessment of the well-being of the fetus in late pregnancy. Suppose she is 36 weeks, for example. Clinically, by assessment of fetal gross, amount of lipor, auscultation of fetal heart sound, is it normal or not, and symphysis fundal height measurement, 
because if synthesis fundal height measurement equal to that of gestational age by negative formula from last semester period, so everything is fine. So clinically first for assessment. What else? Daily fetal movement count record. We ask the lady to record how many movements within 12 hours. If more than 10 movements, this is satisfactory. To make it easy, you can ask her to count the movement or kick one hour at the morning and another one hour afternoon and another one hour at the evening and the result multiplied by four okay okay what else in fetal well-being assessment non-stress test use non-stress test which could be reactive if two or more fetal heart rate acceleration in 20 minutes was not okay this means healthy fetus what else in assessment use of fetal biophysical profile fetal biophysical profile include five items non-stress test fetal breathing movement grass body movement fetal muscle tone and the amniotic fluid volume you give two or one or zero for each score. Score of eight indicates healthy fetus. So score of eight or more indicate healthy fetus. Below that there is a problem. Modified by physical profile is formed of two items only non stress test and the amniotic fluid index. We know amniotic fluid index is considered oligohydramnus if less than 5 cm and it is fully hydramnus if more than 25 so 25 so if less than 5 it is oligohydramnus if more than 25 it is fully hydramnus non-stress test as i mentioned before two acceleration happened within 20 minutes in the fetal heart rate what else in assessment or of the well-being of the fetus use of ultrasonography serial measurement of vibrator diameter abdominal circumference head circumference and the amniotic fluid volume can give you an idea about the fetal well-being lastly doppler ultrasound Doppler velocimetry of the umbilical artery is studied. And if we found Doppler velocimetry for umbilical artery reduced, absent, or reversed the historic flow, indicate fetal jubal. This fetus is at risk. Okay? And if it is reversed, the historic flow, it is an emergency situation right now okay so this is as regard the assessment of the well-being of fetus in late pregnancy thank you everybody this is my box published on amazon you can find it through the link on amazon here i put it in a comment textbook obstetric textbook gynecology contraception handbook multiple choice question book medical disorder in pregnancy and the gynecologic oncology if you need another quizzes in obstetrics and the gynecology you can find it on youtube channel in this link i'll put it also in a comment